Greetings, this is Edward Ojambu. In this tutorial, we'll learn about how to search strings in JavaScript. So JavaScript has multiple built-in methods for searching strings. Uh, some of the common ones are end with, includes, index of, last index of, match, uh, using just a regular substring search. You can also use match for a regex. You can use search, same thing again, with regular substring, or you can also use regex. Regex is a regular expression. In this tutorial, I'll just use the most simple, basic regular expressions. In a future tutorial, <coughs> excuse me, in a future tutorial, I'll teach you how to use uh, uh, regular expression so you can search for more complex uh, maybe find and replace or just find uh, uh, substrings and also this starts with which is the opposite of ends with it's just a boolean it checks to see if it ends with uh, your substring so the you can expand this to see the code snippet this is just a screenshot and then this is the output of the screenshot using the ojamboshop.com web IDE and this is the video you're watching right now and let's begin the tutorial so for this tutorial I'll be using the ojamboshop.com web IDE as you can see here you can as long as the JavaScript web IDE can be used on any page where it shows up so you can also, if you're impatient, you can also just paste in the code. So the first thing we'll do, we'll create a, stri uh, a variable and we'll, it'll be hello world. You can use single quotes or double quotes or even the template strings. Then what I'll do, I'll just output it immediately. So we we'll use the first one will be string ends with world. So this is uh, this will be a boolean ends with method. The next one will be includes. So this one is also a boolean includes method. So meaning to give us a true or false. The next one is index of. So this will just give us the position index of method. index of the position if you notice it is because JavaScript starts at 0 so there will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is where it starts so this should be 6 then we have last index of position last index of method so this will also give us six because this is the last index so for example if I search for just a character like the O here uh, this one would give us the position of this one which would be seven but in this particular case because I chose the entire word word world sorry it's it will be six So this is the first index and this is the last index. Then we can also use match. So what this one will do to give us an array of all the matches. 
And one good thing about match is that it can also use regular expressions. So for regular expressions, you use the most common way is to use the just a forward slash. And the output will be the same. And then there is also search. Now what search will do is it will give us an array of the search method and search is also you can also use it uh, for like your expressions. So this will be regex this is a regex and so is this one here so we can compile this and I made a mistake somewhere let's see where Yeah, my mistake, I forgot to close all this off. And there's also stats with. Stats with. Oh, sorry, hello. So this will be Boolean starts with method. Compile this, and you can see it will give true, true, six, six, world, world, six, six, and true. So I made a mistake here. This doesn't give an array. This gives the position. This is actually the position. Position. This gives the position. And the rest will uh, put an array. So remember the full article is at a jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen string hyphen search. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more frequent uh, videos, tutorials, and more. Uh, if you want to learn JavaScript, you can go to ojumboshop.com, use your promo code SCHOOL for 20% off until the end of 2024. All you need is just a web browser, or as you just saw in today's tutorial, JavaScript is already included, and the IDE and the compiler is already included. If you prefer to use your own IDE like I used last time with NetBeans and your own web browser, you can simply get the Learning JavaScript ebook. It's available on Amazon. The links are in the description. All you, here in the references, you can see the Learning JavaScript course on ojamboshop.com or the Learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you prefer to have one on one tutorials, or something else, maybe you need help with applications, web, mobile, desktop, or just custom websites, uh, maybe some custom integration, including JavaScript, you can visit ojumboservices.com for a free, no obligation code. Thank you.